Hey everyone, Paul Tompkins here, Flipping Experts. And today I just wanna take a quick few minutes to talk about goals. And I believe in a few minutes of just talking about it so you understand how I do it, maybe it'll help you. And maybe it'll change 2020 for the better and you'll accomplish way more than you ever thought possible. So I do my goals a little differently than other people. What I like to do on my goals is I start at the end first. You have to know, I'm gonna write this down. Know your destination. Okay? For me, that's number one. I have to know where I want to go, where I desire to go, whether it's in my marriage, in my business, in my personal life, in my finances. If I don't know my destination, and I'll put an X over here. If I don't know my destination of where I'm actually wanna go to, how do I ever plan out how to get there? You, you can't. So for me, I say, okay, my end goal is what? More time with my family, financial freedom. Uh, I want my business to thrive at this level. Um, I want to speak to my wife this way. I want these things to happen throughout the next 50 years of my life. So at the end of my life, at my destination that I've arrived at, I have accomplished everything that I've been called to do. You know, we were all placed on this earth for a reason. We, we, we didn't just, boom, you were here and there was no reason for it. That wouldn't make sense. We're all created different. We all have different fingerprints, right? We're, we're, you were created for something that I can never do. You're created to change the world in a way that Paul Tompkins can never do. So we each have a task, we each have a goal, and for me, my destination is this. Your destination is different than mine. But in order to build out how do I get there, you have to know where there is, okay? So let's start with that. Number one, know your destination. Where do you wanna end up? What's gonna make you happy? What at the end of your life, can you say, um, I did every single thing I wanted to do in life. Everything that I was called to do, everything I wanted to do, whether it's travel, it doesn't matter what it is, I accomplished it. So you're laying, think about laying in bed, you're dying, you're like, got a couple days left because you're just old and, and you're ready to go, right? And you can literally say to yourself and your family or whoever, I did it right. My life mattered. I changed the world and I did it the way I was supposed to, okay? That's a lot different than laying on your deathbed and saying, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have spent more time with my family. I wish I wouldn't obsessed over work. I wish I would have gave more money to my church. Um, see the difference in the two? The one begins with knowing where you want to end up. The other one is, Hey, I'm just flying through life. I'm busy. I'm this, I'm that. I don't have a destination in mind. I'll get there if I get there. If I don't, I don't know. That's not the way to live, right? Um, so number one, know your destination. Got it? Write it down. Write it down. Number one. For me, okay? Number two is where are you now? Okay? It's over here right? Where are you right now in life? So I know I want to go here, but I have to be real with myself. I have to be real with my spouse. I have to be real with my business partner. I have to be real with those around me if I'm trying to get better and improve on those things. So where am I at now? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. My business is here. My marriage needs work in these three areas. Uh, my kids need this, this, and this. Um, I want to spend more time with sports with my kids, but I can't because of work. So that's, that's where I'm at right now, at this age in life. Boom. Okay? Be real with yourself when you guys are doing this, okay? If you're going to lay this stuff out and do the legwork and do all the homework and, and really think and contemplate and focus on the destination, you have to be true with where you're at now. Hey, I'm drinking too much. I'm partying too much. I'm not reading enough. You know, there's good and bads when you're looking at where you're at currently right now. So once you get done with, I know where I want to go, 
I know where I'm at, then all we have to do is draw a line, right? And say, okay, I know I need to do these 10 things. I need to do these 15 things. I need to do these 20 things to get where I feel I'm called to be. Where I feel that is my destination. That is my goal in life, okay? So you, you plan it out, okay? Just like a business plan, just like anything. You don't just don't go into a business and say, I'm gonna start a pizza business and open one up tomorrow. No, you, you go get the licenses, you get the health inspections, you get the building. You actually draw out a plan of like, it's gonna cost me this much, I need to get some fun, right? You put all of those things in order to get the pizza place, okay? You knew you didn't have it all. You knew you wanted to get it all and get the pizza place going and you had to complete all these steps in order to get it successful and get it done. Same thing in our personal lives, same thing in our business lives. Then all you have to do, okay, this is a lot of people mess up and they, they, they try to start here or here or here. Start with step one. For me, I lay out the 15 things and then I prioritize them. I say, okay, this one needs to be up here because if I don't get this one done, this can never happen. And, and I begin to lay out like, think about the business, right? You can't open up the business until you have a license. You can't open up the pizza place until you order the supplies, you, but you can't even order the supplies yet until you start your LLC and you start your business, your corporation, right? So, so you gotta get the corporation first, go get your licenses, get the building, and then you can go ahead and start ordering supplies because you have a place to put them. So prioritize those things in your life and just do them one at a time, okay? So many people, overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in five years. So think about that. We need to be thinking longer. When, that's why I started my destination. I'm thinking, I mean, for me, this is 50 years. I'm 45 years old. I mean, my wife says I'm gonna be 130. I'll give her 95. So for me, this is a 50 year, I'm 45. I'm gonna be 95. I got 50 year span, I gotta figure this out. So there's no rush. So think about that. If I only have 15 of these things, if I do one a year, I'm there in 15 years, I still have 35 years left. So one at a time, knock one out, knock one out, knock one out. You're in a season, you had a baby, you had a car wreck. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. It takes me a year, I get back on track. I go to the number four, then I go to number five. Then I go to nervous, dad dies, mom dies. Oh man, that, that messed me up. It took me off my schedule. It's okay. I got, I got 50 years. Okay, I'm back on track. Okay, I'm at number eight. I'm at number nine. I'm at number 10. And, and the more you start to do these things, fear and anxiety leaves you because momentum starts to build up. You're like, oh, I got seven done already? I only have 15 on my list. I'm almost halfway there. And you start to get momentum and it builds up. Momentum and excitement builds up. Fear and frustration falls off, okay? But so many people, they'll try to jump at number seven or number 15 and they didn't even do number one yet. So I just wanna encourage you today, three things. Know your destination, where am I going? Sit down, write it out, think about it, talk about it with your spouse, your business partner, your uh, whoever, your CPA, whoever you have to talk to to help you fine tune where you're going, all right? Then truly look at where you're at, your business, your everything. Where am I at? And then third, right? What is it gonna take? To get there. And that's number three, and you're just walking it out. That's it. Guys, it's, it's not rocket science, it's not hard, but it does take intentionality. You, you, you have to sit down. You have to take time away from the busyness and say, okay, I'm gonna go clear my head for three days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the beach, I'm gonna go to the mountains, I'm gonna go lock myself in a room, I'm gonna turn my phone off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a daily planner to help me plan all this stuff out, this is step three. I'm gonna, whatever it is for you, it's different for me. It's different for my wife. It's different for my son. It's different for my business partner. But you have to take the time 
and walk it step by step. Don't underestimate yourself. There's a lot of power and you'll say 20 steps. You're like, oh, I just, I can't do 20 things. Yeah, you can, you got 50 years. And if you're younger than me, even if you're older than me, I think the guy, Colonel Sanders, who started Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think it was 65 or 85 or something like that. He was over 60 when he started that business and they sell the most chicken in the world. Like there's plenty of time left, okay? So destination, where are you at now? And then what is it gonna take to get to my destination, where I wanna go? How many steps, how many things do I have to do? And then just break it down step by step. You guys are gonna be amazing. Set those goals, set this in stone, like put it on your mirror, put it inside your vehicle on the dash. Um, every time your phone opens, it's right there. Destination, I'm going here. Think about that, you lock your phone, right? Every time you put in that keypad, the first thing that pops up, boom, your destination. Keep it in front of you because it'll excite you. It'll, it'll remind you like, hey, I'm doing this, this, and this, but if that's not getting me towards my destination, I need to cut those things out because it's in front of you all of the time. So you're gonna be amazing. Set those goals, go after them, and just, just, just knock them out. And make sure that destination that you're going for is what you're called to do. And you're gonna be amazing.